Okay, so now we're going to take a look at one of the brand new products from AKCP. We're going to be having a look at the expansion modules. In particular on this one we're going to be uh, looking at the eSensor 8 and how you access it on the uh, web interface. Now once you've gone ahead and uh, obviously you've connected your eSensor 8 to your security probe, um, obviously you'll want to access it. So you'll need to navigate to the uh, security probe web interface and uh, as soon as you uh, log in you're brought to the summary page you'll notice that on the sensor information you now have two boards displayed you have your internal RJ45 uh, which is the board um, which is actually contained within inside the security probe and you also have your new board which is uh, this one that's named here uh, and we've also plugged a uh, dual sensor into that one so now we can see that we have a temperature and a humidity sensor um, so in order to access this board you can either do it one of two ways, you can either click on the board or you can actually go to the sensors tab it will take you to the same page so let's just go ahead and we'll click on the sensors tab okay so here we are in our sensors and you can see at the moment uh, it's displaying the internal RJ45 board uh, with the dual sensors but we want to access the uh, the expansion module so in the sensors menu on the left hand side below the sensor port we have the one that says extended port so we'll go ahead and we'll click the extended port. Okay, so now you can see we have our ports listed, extended port 1, extended port 2, uh, port 3 and port 4. And again they are listed uh, in the main part of the page here. And you can see that in extended port 1 of the SEC 5E we have uh, our board, our ext expansion module plugged into that port. So we'll go ahead and we'll click on that expansion module. Okay, so now you can see that we're on a page which is very, very, very similar to the uh, normal page that you would get from your Security Probe 5E when it comes to uh, sensors. So what we have here is, first of all, we have the option that we can actually change the name of the board. Uh, so let's just uh, change this one here to um, Expansion Module 1. Uh, the board stated is connected, it's enabled, and we'll just hit save. Okay, so now you can see the name has changed for the expansion module. If we want to access the sensor information, then it's exactly the same as what you would do uh, for the Security Probe uh, 5E. You click on the Dual Sensors tab, and straight away you're brought up with all the sensor options uh, exactly the same as you would do before you can change the notification thresholds you can hit the advanced mode button and all your advanced options come up it's exactly the same as, um, as how it is on the security probe 5e um, once you've made any changes you go ahead and you uh, hit the save button what I'm going to do now though is I'm just going to navigate back to the summary page I'm just going to show you how to access that information by clicking here. So now you can see that we have the, uh, the uh, internal RJ45. The expansion module has now changed to expansion module uh, 1. So this time, rather than going to the sensors tab, we'll actually just click the name. And instantly you can see it brings you to this page of expansion module 1 uh, on extended port 1. And you can see that we have uh, a dual sensor plugged into port 1 of the uh, expansion module. Uh, and that's it, that's uh, all there is to it. Uh, that's the standard configuration of plugging a uh, expansion module into your security probe. Uh, in the next tutorial we're going to have a look at daisy chaining them together.